Hello, everybody, and welcome to You Jokes. Welcome to You Jokes. I am your host, Jonathan Mangum. This is our 12th episode. Yay! Yay for even numbers over 10. Um, I'm so excited about today's program. We have some great, great funny guests competing tonight. Um, also, it's Friday. And, you know, I learned something recently. The Portuguese word for Friday, I'm not making this up. You can look it up. The Portuguese word for Friday is sexta fiera. Why, why are we not all calling it that? Isn't that great? That makes Friday sound so much fun. Sexta fiera. It's like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Sexta fiera. It's, it just makes me, it makes me happy. It makes me want to go to a filthy Burning Man style desert carnival festival with my steampunk goggles and my tight pants. But that's too much information about me. Uh, welcome to the show. What is the show that you are watching? This is a comedy competition show. We have two people competing for jokes based on topics, suggestions, pictures I give them. But that is not where the fun stops, my friends, because you get to play too. Right now in Facebook Live or uh, on YouTube Live or even, or even doing Twitch, which I don't know even what that means. But maybe you'll stop watching some dude play Fortnite to type in some jokes. Uh, if you have a joke tonight, just type it in right there in the chat. Our producer, Josh, will do his best to pick out a good one to go up against the pros. And then I will judge who had the best joke. Uh, and I'm very judgmental because I'm judging right now some people that are here in our room. Hey, Kyla, uh, Jerry Kennedy is here. Captain Sarah, welcome back. Mandy Gerber, happy Friday to you. Michelle, uh, Cheryl, Melissa, welcome back. Gary Snoonian, I love your name. It makes me want to nap, but everything nowadays makes me want to nap. Pam, Ronald, Martin, Paul, Luisi, welcome back. Aaron, uh, Kirsten, hello, Kirsten, on the YouTube. Kirsten, Jeremy, uh, welcome to the show, everyone. Uh, we are going to have some fun. And now I'm going to introduce you to two hilarious people, friends of mine. Please welcome to the show, John Ross Bowie and Jamie Dembo. Yay! Hey. How are you guys doing? Uh, um, fine. My wife is playing some dirty pool right now, but I'm doing okay. What are you talking about? I just feel like I feel like I, I feel like a winner. So I just wanted to crown myself. It's very fancy. It's very, very fancy. Sure, but okay. I think it's important that that your audience know that we are married to each other. And right. so this competition has serious stakes. That's what I was gonna say. Is that I haven't sent the waiver yet, but I take no responsibility for what happens later when someone may have better jokes than the other. Deal? Deal. <laughs> Uh, I'm, deal. To, I'm out. You're out. No, John. No, John. Come on. Yeah, uh, you guys know John from uh, all kinds of TV stuff. Speechless, which was an it was an awesome show, and of course, uh, Bing Bang Theory. Um, hilarious. I have auditioned against him many times, and he always beats me out. You're welcome, John. <laughs> oh goodness, I'm sorry to hear that. I uh, uh, a lot of times they're you're very tall, Jonathan, and sometimes <laughs> it seems somebody's going to fit in frame. That's going to be it. And uh, Jamie Denbo, who is hilarious. And you had a show on American Princess, which was such a fantastic program. You created it. You wrote it. Um, I loved it. I had a show that you can get for $19.99 on Amazon, and it will give you 10 bingeable hours of perfect one season television show that you may have missed because uh, Lifetime did not publicize it. And let me ask, is it funnier than Ozark? Oh my God! It's uh, no, is anything as funny as Ozark? Um, yes, it, it has all the laughs that Ozark cut out. <laughs> awesome. Well, what a thanks, waste of Bateman's gifts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for being here today. Let's play some you jokes. Uh, our first game is a little game that we call this name the movie. Name the movie. I'm going to show you a picture. Uh, uh, it's from a movie. Not really, but it is. You tell me what movie you think this picture is from. And here we go. Okay. we got some, <laughs> some dogs, some balloons. Um, you know, don't worry about all the uh, trash that this will eventually make. I'm, I'm pretty sure these dogs are 100% biodegradable. Uh, what is this movie? Go ahead and type in your answer now into the Facebook chat or the YouTube chat or the Twitch chat, if that's a thing, because I don't know what Twitch does. Uh, type it in now. We're going to start off with you, John. What is this movie? Four weddings and a pet funeral. <laughs> yes. Eventually. Four weddings and an eventual pet funeral. I like that. I like that. It's funny. It's uh, just a Dave. lot of short-term planning in this photo. There's, it's cute, but like there, no one's thinking about the long game here. Nope. This is not, not good in that way. Jamie, what do you think this movie is? 
It is up, up, and oh, wait, I just got peed on. <laughs> yes. You guys are bringing it up, up, and away. I just got peed on. Uh, those are good. Let's see what the audience has tonight. Josh, pull out a good one here. <laughs> Jonathan James Bud Beringer, all dogs go to heaven. Uh, eventually, yes. Uh, you know, that is a close one. Man, you know, I think John is going to win that round. John, you won that round. Okay. Okay. I don't want to make Jamie have to take off the crown, run into the next room and put it on you. Mm -hmm. But we'll see mm -hmm. what happens. <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> We're gonna By the move way, I, I, I hope, I, I don't think you can hear it. Jamie, can you hear it? Can you hear Walter practicing Wonderwall in the other room? Oh, God. <laughs> I hope you don't have to pay for that needle drop of my Thank son. In, Thanks, in coronavirus. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure our music team will clear that eventually, so don't worry about Sweet. that. Okay. Um, Moving on to our next game, you guys. This is called, What's Her Secret? What is her secret? I'm gonna show you a picture of someone or something and you tell me what her secret is. And here we go. What is her secret? Okay, she, she's a sad bunny. She's a sad bunny on a bridge to somewhere. What is her secret? If you have a good joke, type it into Facebook right now. Type it into YouTube. Type it into Twitch. Type it in. We'll go through and pull out the best one. What is her secret? I'm going to start off with, we started with John last time. So let's start with Jamie this time. Jamie, what's your secret? It's a secret that we'll, we'll never know if it ever gets out there because she has the tail on the front side too. Oh, she has a tail on the front side. I like yeah. that. I Sad. Like that. A little dirty. Yeah. Uh, oh God, I didn't mean it that way. Oh, that there is no other way that uh, a dumb guy like me would interpret it. But yeah, I like it. No, that's not innuendo. That's uh, that's pretty innufronto. <laughs> meant that she didn't have a face or something but anyway yeah <laughs> john well what's her secret she desperately desperately wants to be in a wes anderson movie <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious uh two good answers guys what does the audience have what is the secret here josh she was fired by playboy <laughs> brandon paul that is a good one that is a good one you know the, I, it's hard to decide that round, but because I'm basically a 12 year old child and Jamie kind of made a wiener joke, Jamie wins that round. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm not proud. Earn that crown. I'm not proud. Earn that crown. I don't deserve this. Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is doing pretty good, though. You guys are really funny. Uh, yeah. Darren, Colleen, Jerry, Martin, uh, Jonathan, Chris. Christy Pina, you guys have some good ones. Let's move on to our next round here. It's called, what's it mean? What's it mean? I'm going to show you a word with no definition. You tell me what is the definition. And the word is, pazork. Pazork. <laughs> it can also be spelled P apostrophe Z-O-R-K. Anyone old enough to have played the text space adventure Zork back in the... I'm not. I know a guy, though. An old guy. Uh, Pazork, starting off with you, John. What is your definition for the word Pazork? It's the flatulence brought on by bad L.A. pizza. Oh, no. No, you didn't freeze. I think Jonathan froze. Was it that bad? Was the joke that bad? Oh, no. Wait, John, are you and I going to host the show? So Hi. I, I want to jump in here. Hello, everybody. I'm, I'm the producer. I think we've lost Jonathan, so I'm going to wait till he gets back uh, and uh, just say thank you. By the way, that reaction was exactly what that joke deserved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for a minute there, I thought he was doing a bit, uh, but in fact, uh, he was not. So uh, we'll wait till he gets back uh, to continue on. I believe this is... Okay, we're back. <laughs> Bye, I everybody. I want to wait for a while. I went away, but I'm back. That was amazing. That was amazing. and But I think Jamie set that up on purpose to stomp on John's punchline so she could get an advantage. Is that what happened here? I Listen, I you can't, who's going who's gonna to know the truth? No one, no one but the bunny, the secretive bunny. I'm going to back up to where I stopped hearing things. So John, I didn't hear your punchline. What is the definition of Pazork? Oh, so I have to repeat it now. I see. 
yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to change it on the fly. Uh, Pazork is a Klingon word for the flatulence you get from L.A. pizza. <laughs> I like it. Points for Star Trek because that is the best. Jamie, when I disappeared to give me your word. To Pazork. It's the act of taking the last package of bacon off the shelf at Trader Joe's. I Pazorked it. <laughs> Resorked. Mine. I like it. Uh, Josh, let's go to the audience and see if we can pull out a good one. Pazork. Pazork. And it's Carly Ann Broven to pull off your socks with force. <laughs> to pull off your socks with force. That's a good one. Um, I think that Jamie's internet sabotage worked and she got that round from John. <laughs> And Jamie would it's like only Klingon if you actually use the apostrophe. Fine work. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Moving on now to our next round. Inspirational poster. Inspirational poster. I'm going to show you a poster. It's inspirational, maybe. You tell me what would it say in this inspirational poster. What would it say? Can I just stop it's you real poster. quick, Jonathan? Can we, let's yeah. go back one screen. Yeah. You want to go back one frame? I want to go back one frame. Inspirational poster? Anyone else see it? Oh. <laughs> uh, inspirational poster. Listen, it's bullying right now. Nobody has access to good education and spelling guides. So Mangum is being homeschooled? Sorry, guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Uh, what would this inspirational poster say besides go back to fourth grade and learn how to spell multisyllabic words? Uh, we're going to start off with you, Jamie. What would this poster say? Uh, when life hands you pickles, take off your shirt. <laughs> when life gives you pickles, take off your shirt. It could not be more true. Uh, John, what do you think this poster would say? All systems kosher. <laughs> <laughs> All systems kosher, though. That's a good one. Uh, Josh, let's go to our audience and pull out a good one here. Pull out a good one here. We've got one from Martin Jones. Keep on cranking. <laughs> I'm not sure I. Oh, because crank. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keep on cranking. I get it. I get it. Um, geez, you know what? Jamie, Jamie, you've won that round. Jamie Dembo. I honestly think the clown is doing a lot of the work tonight. <laughs> uh, we are moving on to a little thing we call Last Show's Best. So here, here's the thing. Not everyone gets to watch this show live. In fact, most people don't watch it live. They watch it later after the fact. So we want them to be able to still be able to play. So you can type in your joke later after, not live. We go back, find the best joke from the whole week. And that person is then invited to come back on to the show uh, to give... To, to show us what they did and also play in the final round. And we have waiting in the guest room, our winner from last week, Chad Shapiro. Hey. Hey, guys. Hi, Chad. Hey, Chad. Chad, congrats on winning last week. We're going to show you what you won with. This was the, uh, the picture. We were doing a game called Supervillain, where you had to give us the name of a supervillain. And you had the name. Let's show them. Carrot, Carrot bottom. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> which is very funny so that qualifies you to play in our final round today chad good luck to you here is our final game show of bands show of bands uh what's going to happen is i'm going to show you a an album cover an album cover and you tell me what you think the name of the band is that made this album cover and here we go Okay. No, I, I'm not the uh, fashion police, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to wear black socks with human heads. Just me, though. Just me, though. Uh, we're going to start off with our winner from last week. Chad, what is the name of the band? Well, this is obviously Morning Motivation, and the album is called Moving Ahead One Foot at a Time. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's going to be tough to be. John, you are trailing your wife. What do you think the name of this band is? 
I'm tra trailing my wife and I'm trailing some rando named Chad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with heads that definitely won't be talking. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Jay, Jamie, it's down to you. What is the name of the band? Well, we're going back to my incredibly a feat sense of humor. Uh, the Underbutt Seekers. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all good answers. To avoid any marital strife and to tie it up with the married couple, I'm giving it to John that round. <laughs> Yeah, that's very gracious of you, considering I called you a rando. I appreciate the applause. <laughs> I'm very rando. <laughs> I just rando. want to thank, uh, thank our guests, John Ross Bowie and Jamie Denbo. Yay, for coming out today. Thank you guys so much. Uh, congrats, Chad, on winning. Uh, you at home, thank you for watching. Thank you for playing. Uh, uh, please follow, like, and share this. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash The Mangum or YouTube. Look up you jokes, And we will be back on Tuesday for our next episode of You Jokes. Thanks, everybody. Bye.